and and back to what you wear scrubs are you wearing your regular clothes if you're wearing your clothes regular clothes are you showing cleavage right that's one of cat's things like she wanted to make sure no one like showed like a lot of cleavage maybe a little line but not a lot of cleavage um when she goes into other offices and she's greeted with someone with like a lot of cleavage like she doesn't like it she thinks it's not professional what do you guys think about that olivia you ran a department store out here and you had a lot of employees under you mm -hmm. right so I think you're you're a good one to. What do you think about that? Um, employees showing like a lot of cleavage, or the studio owner. What if I came in with a lot of cleavage? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you'd I laugh. You guys, <laughs> first of all, you guys would laugh. Yeah, you'd say, "Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> Where'd you go buy those?" <laughs> we would take a lot of reels for sure. <laughs> yeah, that would make some good reels. Yeah. I know. I have no cleavage. <laughs> I know you could drive a bus through my boobs. Yeah, <laughs> uh, plenty of room. That's that's all right though. I, I I like it that way. I like it that way. It makes me look really tomboy. I like it that way. I like it that way. Cat likes it that way. So I'm good with it. I'm good. I'm good with. I'm good with it. But you know, we've got some artists here that we're blessed. <laughs> Do you know? And so we don't allow them to show a lot of cleavage. You know, what do you think about that? I would agree because I mean, when with the movement, sometimes you don't realize that you might be showing more than you would want to. Like a little piece of areola can peep yeah, out. Yeah, if you're like bending down yeah. or anything. Yeah, I've seen that before. <laughs> I've seen that. You see a little piece of areola like peeping out and you're like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> like It's like someone needs to tell her. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you know, I should probably tell her. <laughs> and I don't think I did because, <laughs> you know, Oh my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> look, but if you look, if you're if you're wearing if you if you're showing lots of cleavage, it's okay. I mean, you know, these are all just things to think about. Maybe these are things that no one's ever brought up before. There's just things to think about. That's all. You know, uh for the client experience. And I, I don't I, I think there's a lot of women that don't enjoy looking at a lot of cleavage. It can make them uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, you know, everybody loves Raymond. You know, when Marie walked in and saw Deborah's cleavage that one day, you know, it was, it was horrible. You know, she was, yeah, she couldn't even look. I'm an everybody loves Raymond fan. Uh, but anyway, closed toed shoes. Well, that should be a part of the dress code if you're doing PMU. Maybe if you're a hairdresser as well, because you sharp tools, you know, scissors and, you know, sometimes you're even, um, doing a little bit of barber work, you know, what if you drop that, you know, you could lose a toe. Um, so, but I think for, uh, PMU, it's definitely, um, a sanitary thing. You want to be in closed toes shoes. They look professional. Personally, I don't like looking at other people's toes, but I do. So like when I'm at the grocery store and I'm like behind a man, or an older man, or and I, I just have this feeling if I look down, they're going to have gnarly toes. I just have this feeling. <laughs> so you just look at people's toes? I'll look. <laughs> Even though I know. I'm like, I'm standing behind them. I'm looking at the back of the head, the neck, the teeth, the shirt. <laughs> Be a man or woman, I just got this feeling if my eyes keep going downwards. I know I'm going to see some gnarly toes, <laughs> but I can't help it. I look down and there they are. They're gnarly. And, and I keep looking at them. And I don't know why, because I'm not enjoying looking at them, but I keep looking. I don't know <laughs> why it is. But um, yeah, so close toed shoes, especially in a permanent makeup studio closed toe shoes and we already talked about your hair you know whether it can be funky different colors i think that's fun and that's fine uh a hundred percent right mm -hmm. um but when you're doing permanent makeup per se or facials or any uh, laser you know should it be tied back you know a hundred percent 
um, especially if you're dealing with anything that is like puncturing the skin, opening up skin in any way, you definitely want to make sure that your hair is tied back, at least for the procedure. You can, you know, undo it in between appointments, but at least for the procedure, you want to make sure your hair is uh, tied back. Nails, should they be like super long? If you're doing PMU, you know, that that's up for debate. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of people, I've seen this debate on Facebook many, many a time over the years, and there's a lot of people that think absolutely no, the nails need to be, you know, short and trim because of, you know, our hands are in gloves and, you know, we're holding machines and, you know, whatnot. I, I don't know what their reasons are. Um, but I've got some personal friends that do PMU that got long nails. I mean, they go get their manis, you know, every two weeks and they keep long nails and they do PMU just fine and the nails fit in the gloves. So I guess I don't really have an opinion. I guess, I guess that's a, like a personal choice. Um, so when it comes to your look, just like when it comes to the look of your studio and your procedure room, your space, I do think it's important to be authentic in that it represents you, who you are as a person while maintaining um, some professional boundaries, you know, at the same time, trying to balance the two. That's my philosophy for my own personal business. And it's worked rather, rather, rather well for me. When I was decorating this studio, you know, I tend to like that rock and roll kind of look, a little edgy, you know, I like metal. Um, I do like black and pink, you know, my, you know, when I was a little kid growing up, you know, my pink was, my, my bedroom was bright pink, the same pink as, you know, the girls ink pink. <clears throat> um, even though I was a tomboy, even though like, I think growing up, like I wanted to be a boy, to be, to be honest with you, but I still liked pink. That was always my favorite color. So, you know, we did the studio in pink and I wanted a lot more. We do have some metal. We got some metal lockers. We got some metal. Uh, but then Kat kind of put in her personal uh, um, feminine touch with the chandeliers and, you know, with some soft touches and stuff like that. So it ends up being like a really nice balance. Um, so yeah, so, you know, we spend a lot of time at our studios. We spend just as, maybe not just as much, but we spend sometimes almost as much time in our studios or at work as we do home, you know? So um, I, think it need, I think it's important that, that you feel good and you feel comfortable and you feel at home there.